Has this ever happened to you? Oh, the Italians are controlling all the Asian trade! Does the thought of transversing the Silk Road sound repugnant to you? Yeah, I hate land-based travel! Do you want to become part of the next global empire? Of course! Then I have the empire for you! Hi, João Manuel Braganza da Silva, Miguel Ramos de Carvalho here, and I'm here to convince you to become part of the great Portuguese empire. Portuguese empire is a great place for everyone, and I mean everyone. We're the best gosh darn maritime empire that's ever been. But don't take it from me. Listen to these satisfied customers. I honestly thought I was in Spain. Yeah, the view here is great. I love looking at the sea 24 seven. Wait, no, seriously, how do I get back to Spain? My entire diet is fish. Like, I love it. This was a mistake. See, they love it here and you will as well. Let me take you on a trip through Sp Portugal. Portugal. Portugal is home to a wide range of people, from very rich to very poor, and pretty much no in between. I inherited my grandpa's plantation with like a jillion servants, so I guess you can say I'm pretty well off. I work every day for 14 hours, come home, kiss my wife, and pray that my crops will die tomorrow. It's been like that for 32 years. It's what I'm used to. This is awful. Everything is awful. Please, white man, release me! Sorry, I think there were uh, some technical difficulties. Portugal is also a patriarchal society, as it should be, am I right? Actually, I think women should be like equal to men. Okay, this segment has gone on for too long. Portugal also has a great government. It's not a democracy, but you'll love the monarchy either way. To convince you, I have invited Prince Henry the Navigator to talk a little bit about his life. Hi, Henry. Right. Hello. Tell me a little bit about Portugal's overseas governments. Well, as you know, Portugal began exploring in the 15th century along with Spain. We eventually decided to split the New World among us. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I guess it is. We signed the Treaty of Tordesillas in 1494. West of the line was Spain's, east of it was ours. As you can see, we got the short end of the stick. At, at least we got Brazil? Yeah, at least we got Brazil. But how exactly do we got Brazil? Well, we have Orden de Sois Manuelinas in place which helps us govern our colony, so we have that going for us. Hey man, cheer up! You're Prince Henry the Navigator! How did you even get that name? Well, I was one of the catalysts for the Age of Exploration. I helped finance many expositions during the 1400s. Many of them ended in success. Backstage, we actually have explorers Bartolomeu Dias and Vasco de Gama. They're a big fan of yours. Wow! Here in Portugal, we're all about connecting with others. In fact, we quite literally helped connect the new world with the old world. Here with me right now is Pedro Alves Cabral, the navigator who discovered Brazil. Hello, I'm Pedro Alvarez Cabral. How exactly did you discover Brazil, our greatest colony? Uh, yeah. Well, I was trying to sell to India, but I was so busy trying to eat rabanadas and complaining about the economy that I forgot to change directions and ended up going just a little off course. Next thing I know, I'm in Brazil! Wow. Inspiring. What, what happened next? Well, you know, we are European, after all. We enslaved the merda out of it. Of course, in fact, we enslaved it so hard, we had to start importing slaves from Africa. <laughs> well, yeah, we basically changed the entire demographic makeup of the region. It's crazy. At least we got to civilize the natives, if you know what I mean. Those nasty, barbaric, no good- Uh, okay, I think, uh, uh we're running out of time. It was great to meet you, Mr. Cabral. Hey, but I didn't even get a chance to talk about how I became rich from mass importation of golden spices! <laughs> Portugal is also very rich in culture. We have a massive Catholic following right here at home, but we've also helped spread it to our colonies, partly through the help of the Jesuits. Oh, and also, don't forget that Muslims help educate the population. Okay, okay, we get it, we get it, thanks. And we help get the Iberian Peninsula out of the Dark Ages. Okay. Why doesn't my wife love me? Why doesn't my children- Um... Portugal is also home to the greatest riches you will ever see. We really became a global powerhouse 
1451, when our brightest and smartest invented the Carabelle. The Carabelle is truly remarkable. Basically, it's a ship. But like, fast. Like, super fast. All because of its late-teen sails. The Carabelle allowed us to set up many trade routes, like the spice trade in India, and transatlantic routes to Brazil. Yep, I'm a plantation owner, a rich one at that. I mean, I'm so rich, I bought the new iStone XR, the slickest new rock on the market. I mean, I basically force people to work for me, which is great, I love it. I mean, they do all the work and I just sit here getting the money. There you have it. With all these positives, why would you ever not love Portugal? Become a resident today. Portugal, we swear we're better than Spain.